highly recommend people get this because it makes clear that there's a multi-dimensional environmental crisis going on. It doesn't simply include global warming, although that's a very serious threat and has and should get a lot of attention, much more than it has. And if anybody's reading the news, you notice that the scientist who was accused of faking, there was a big scandal before Copenhagen was uh, nothing happened. That's all, a lot of that stuff is funded by the oil industry, which has systematically attempted to discredit global warming. But in addition to global warming, there's large-scale pollution and degradation of water, Gulf of Mexico, air and soils, extinction of plant and animal species, acidification, <coughs> degradation, and spreading of dead zones, fragmentation and forests, and other natural habitats. Um, if people saw the 11th hour, I d didn't agree with their prescriptions, but they had a good description of some of uh, what was happening on many different fronts. And I feel that this crisis that we're facing here in the Gulf is part of it because obviously it's contributing to the uh, assault on the environment, both the deep ocean as well as the wetlands and shores, plant life, animal life, human health, and, and so on. Uh, but it's also driven by, and it's an extreme concentration of capitalism's disregard for the planet and the incompatibility uh, of, uh, of capitalism and sustainable developments. Now, people will say, but wait a minute, uh, we can regulate capitalism. Well, we've had regulations since Exxon Valdez that they're supposed to have an adequate uh, system for cleaning up any disasters. Did it matter? No, it didn't. The law of profit trumps the law of whatever they pass in the Congress and, and so on. Uh, what about green technology? The, now, this is green technologies are very important because they do show that it's possible to organize society in a different way. And when I talk about socialism, I, I'll touch on that. These are important. But they're not being used in any significant way. The investment in green technology is dwarfed by the investment in fossil fuels because this is a profit-driven system. And even green technology, investment in green technology has to be earn a return. And it's suffocated within this framework of profit-driven production. Um, so, um, I think those, uh, and of course there's more to say on this, but um, and, you know, it's interesting because the U.S. Department of Energy predicts in that in 2030, 80% of our energy needs will be met by fossil fuels of one kind or another, which is the same percentage as right now. So this there, despite the talk, and let's not forget, who was beyond petroleum? company called BP was marketing itself as greenwashing itself. All right.